Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Curtis Razorblades and Kane Velasquez. Here's the former UFC heavyweight champion and in all likelihood future UFC Hall of Famer, Kane Velazquez. You guys have been sharpening each other's skills for years, and it's good to see Kane back and healthy here tonight. Exactly where he belongs. Kane Velazquez is a fighter, and he deserves to be fighting inside of the octagon. One of the tighter strikers the UFC has ever seen in the heavyweight division. The cardio, the pace, the pressure that you face when you fight a Cain Velasquez is overwhelming. Guys melt, and it's because after one round you realize we're just getting started. Right. And Cain's only revving up the engine. It's truly, truly difficult to stare down the barrel of a fight with Cain Velasquez. And he hasn't necessarily adopted my cardio Cain moniker, <laughs> but there are a few guys that can match the cardiovascular strength of the great Cain Velasquez. Big spot for him here tonight. All right, here's the heavyweight wrestler, Curtis Razor Blades, representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists. And at times, you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big, he's very skilled, and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys, and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division, works as hard in training as anybody, still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Blades is 29. Velazquez is 31. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion, King And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler. Holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! Hey! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? All right, so here we are back in one of America's most underrated sports cities. Good to have you with us from Houston, Texas tonight inside Toyota Center. And this is the site of one of your biggest and, and I know most signature wins of your career against Gus back in 2015. One of the biggest fights of my life is when I beat Alexander Gustafson at UFC 192 when I retained my championship. One of the hardest fights in my entire life. The Toyota Center is a great fighter. Hip tosses him down, now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Blades is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom, he's doing it here, nice punch. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Cain Velasquez. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Velazquez is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom.
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Now the guy's got an armbar. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking armbar now. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half guard absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just that. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's going to take off here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. 32 total strikes. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right hand punch in the clinch. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh, collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Battling for hooks. Good punch. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, right back to the action here. Round two, okay, round two Curtis Blades versus Kane Velasquez. And a nice job, at least. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Velasquez. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Velasquez. All 
right, so there he goes again, lands yet another hook. So after landing several in round one, more of the same here in round two. More of the same. He's very educated in throwing that punch. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single right to a high punch. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or have no, I read my not, last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Curtis Blades. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Velasquez. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Back to the feet now. Well, these numbers aren't official, but they are strong. 73 total strikes have landed for Cardio Kane Velasquez. And most definitely an efficient effort tonight, DC. 72% the accuracy rate against Curtis Razor Blades. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Just over two minutes to go. He's having his way with him here. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Blades' his pass attempt, denied. <laughs> Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Velazquez's pass is denied. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Velasquez. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Blades. Left hand punch from the plate. Oh, uppercut to the chin. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands 
this type of grind, most guys can't keep up with. That's right, well, if you like wrestling and you, you like, like takedowns, I guess that's so the fight. round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle. The hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches, more of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he's blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Velasquez is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. I mean, how many can he take? Lands the grounded pound strike here. Down the stretch they come. We're going down to the wire. It has been all action all the time. I mean, two evenly matched fighters have laid it all out on the line. Let's see who can get the job done as we get to the end of the fight. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Velasquez. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense. Oh, great pass. Double leg takedown yeah, attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's gotten his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Nice punch by Velasquez. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's the got the toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Blades is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Velazquez's eye really starting to swell now. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Velasquez. Blades his pass attempt denied. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice job working hard, coasting, and getting back up. Right hand punch. All right, he engages That's in a, a single perfect scramble right here. there. Beautiful transition. Nice punch there. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body punch. Let's get some Let's get Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful body kick. 
well-timed and placed overhand by Velasquez. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Huge knee lands from the tight pitch. Now connects with the right. The final horn sounds. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 9-28. To play the winner by unanimous decision, Kane Velasquez! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that 